an immensely strong, heavy-duty worker of Spitz type. The Alaskan Malamute is an affectionate, loyal, and dignified dog. They are some of the oldest Arctic sled dogs bred for the purpose of hauling large loads over long distances. Originally prized for their strength and endurance, these dogs are also friendly, intelligent, and full of energy, which make them a perfect pet for an active family. They can, however, have frequent stubborn streaks, and their grooming requirements can be quite tiring, which could make them a bad fit for inexperienced owners. But if you believe that you can keep up with these dogs and want to learn more about the breed, then you've definitely come to the right place. In this video today, we'll be looking at the top 10 interesting facts about the Alaskan Malamute. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Malamute owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1 their history. Like most of the dogs in the Spitz family, the Alaskan Malamute evolved in the Arctic regions, shaped by the adverse climatic conditions. While the most part of the breed's origin remains unknown, it is believed that the forebears of the Alaskan Malamutes along with native human tribes crossed from Siberia to North America roughly 4,000 years ago. One tribe known as the Malamutes settled in the northeastern area of the Seward Peninsula and it's there that the Alaskan Malamute was developed. The breed also got its name from this very tribe. The dogs were used to hunt seals, chase away polar bears, and pull heavy sledges loaded with food and camp supplies. With the discovery of gold in 1896, a flood of outsiders came to Alaska. During this time, the native breeds were interbred with each other and those brought by settlers, often in an attempt to create a faster racer or simply supply the vast number of dogs needed to supply the gold rush. The pure Malamute was in danger of being lost. Fortunately enough, there were parts of Alaska too remote for visitors, and enough dogs survived to recreate this breed. Arthur T. Walden established his Chinook Kennel in New Hampshire and began breeding Alaskan Malamutes. He and his successors Milton and Eva Seely supplied many dogs for the burdened Arctic expeditions in the 1930s. The Seelys began a program to reproduce the dogs found in the Norton Sound area of Alaska. The strain of Alaskan Malamutes became known as the Kotzebue strain. A slightly different strain was also developed by Paul Volker Sr. with dogs he bought in Alaska in the early 1900s and later in the 1920s. This strain was known as the Emlut strain. The AKC recognized the original Kotzebue strain in 1935. After the Second World War, the breed's numbers plummeted until there were very few dogs registered. In response, during the late 1940s and 50s, the AKC opened the stud book to include the Emlut and Hinman strains as well. Today, the Malamute's gene pool is made up of all three of these strains. Number 2. Their Appearance Malamutes are large dogs standing around 23 to 25 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing between 75 and 85 pounds. However, it's not unusual for a well-muscled adult to top 100 pounds. How big is your Malamute? Comment below to let us know. These dogs are sturdy and muscular thanks to their original purpose of sled pulling. They have dark, medium-sized eyes and small, triangular ears. The muzzle is deep and broad, tapering slightly from the skull to the nose. Nose or gums are black, but some Malamutes have a snow nose, which is black with a pink undertone that can get darker or lighter depending on the season. The most striking feature of this breed is the distinctive markings on their faces, which are mostly white with a colored bar or mask near the eyes. Malamutes have a double coat, which comprises of a thick and oily undercoat and a coarse outer coat. This thick fur comes in a variety of colors, like black and white, gray and white, or red and white, and their beautiful fluffy tails curl gently over their backs. Number 3. Their Temperament Alaskan Malamutes will win you over with their playful, outgoing dispositions. They greet everyone as a friend, even strangers and first-time house guests. So they don't make good watchdogs, but they are extremely loyal to their family. Malamutes are pack animals, and they enjoy spending time with their human pack, insisting on being included in all activities that their family undertakes. Your pup's temperament is also affected by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Malamute pups with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. As they grow up, these pups can be a little stubborn, but with proper training and by teaching them that you're the leader of the pack, you can reduce their domineering personality to a large extent. Malamutes are patient with children and love the attention they get from kids, but fast-growing energetic Alaskan Malamute puppies can easily overpower a young child under 5 years of age. Always teach your children how to approach and touch dogs, and don't forget to supervise interactions between dogs and young children to prevent any accidents. As for other pets and animals with proper socialization, Malamutes should get along well with other dogs. You need to be extra careful with smaller animals such as cats, rabbits, and squirrels because this breed has a high prey drive which means they will definitely chase anything they perceive as game. They can however be taught to tolerate smaller pets with early training. Number 4. They Love Digging Most Alaskan Malamutes love digging up the ground. 
it's quite a difficult task to train a Malamute out of this habit. So, rather than trying to stop this behavior, your best bet is to accommodate it by giving your Malamute their own place to dig in the yard, such as a sandbox or other area that you don't mind setting aside for them. Moreover, these guys are also well known for their escape attempts. Their escapologist nature, coupled with their digging tendencies, can make a Malamute easily escape by digging under the fence. So any yard fencing should be buried deep into the ground to prevent the dog from escaping the property. Number 5. Their Exercise Needs the Alaskan Malamute is a strong, athletic dog with tremendous endurance. Bred to carry heavy loads over long distances, this breed does require daily exercise. They need to run, play, and bounce around a lot, which is why a house with a fenced yard that can romp around in is a good choice rather than an apartment. To keep your pup happy and satisfied, we recommend at least two hours of active running exercises every day. In suitable climates, these dogs are a great choice for hiking and backpacking, running, or even swimming with their owners. If you're looking for more advanced options, your Malamute can also be trained for agility sports, weight pulling competitions, or pulling you on a bike or skis. As long as they're given full daily exercise, these dogs are well-mannered in the house. On the other hand, inadequate exercise will cause the Alaskan Malamute to become bored and destructive. And a bored Malamute is just a disaster waiting to happen. If left unsatisfied, these dogs can release their pent-up energy by chewing up the furniture and digging up holes all over the yard. So if you're planning on getting a Malamute, make sure you can keep up with their exercise needs. Number 6. Their Trainability Malamutes are highly intelligent dogs, so training them should be a breeze, right? Well, not so fast. Of course, these guys are clever, but they're also independent and willful, often to the point of being kind of stubborn. Start training your Malamute pup as soon as you bring them home and establish yourself as a leader right from the start. Without proper obedience training, the dominant nature of these dogs can cause them to push around other pets. Occasionally, they can be known to be forceful with children, but the vast majority of Alaskan Malamute owners find their dogs to be patient and loyal with young kids. The best course of action is to make obedience training a priority from puppyhood to raise a dog that respects and listens to you as it grows larger and stronger. Early socialization is also a must for an Alaskan Malamute to get along with other pets or animals. Enrolling your Malamute pup into a puppy kindergarten class might also be a good idea. Number 7. They make great communicators Generally, as a quiet breed, Malamutes rarely bark. But they do hold conversations with you, vocally expressing themselves with woo-woo sounds or loud, extensive howls. It is usually the bored ones that'll howl often, but this isn't always the case. A siren going off will most likely set off your Malamute into howling. These dogs will ask for your attention and answer you when you speak to them. Oftentimes, some sounds that the breed makes can resemble actual human words. They'll communicate their frustration, happiness, anger, and other emotions and needs through their characteristic woo-woo sound. When your Mal makes this sound, talk back to them. Maybe they need someone to hear them out. Number 8. Their Grooming One of the biggest challenges with this breed might be its extensive shedding. Outfitted with a thick, waterproof double coat, these dogs have a lot of hair. Be prepared to give your dog a thorough brushing at least several times a week, although some people recommend daily brushing and vacuuming to keep fur flurries under control. Malamutes shed their undercoat twice a year in both spring and fall. During this period of heavy shedding, you'll need to brush your dog every day and use an undercoat rake to keep loose fur from taking over your home. Other than the coat brushing, the Malamute is a fairly low-maintenance dog. They don't have a strong odor, and they only need bathing if they get too dirty or smelly. This shouldn't be much of an issue, though. After all, Malamutes have a cat-like tendency to keep their coats clean. Beyond coat care, their maintenance routine is simple. All you need to do is brush their teeth, clean their ears often, and trim their nails every month to keep your Malamute happy and healthy. Number 9. Their Health the Alaskan Malamute is a fairly healthy dog with an average life expectancy of 10 to 14 years. Like most purebreds, however, Malamutes too have a few genetic health conditions to be aware of, along with others related to the large size of the breed. These big dogs are prone to a few health ailments like hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand's disease, and day blindness. As with any purebred animal, the key to reducing these complications is responsible breeding. Make sure your new pup comes from a reputable breeder and have them evaluated by a veterinarian to make sure that they have a clean bill of health. But still, no matter how healthy your Malamute pup appears, make sure to visit the vet once every while. Regular checkups and screening at the vets will help spot and possibly cure any health issues early on. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition An Alaskan Malamute diet should be formulated for a large size breed with high energy and exercise needs. These guys will benefit highly from a different balance of nutrients, including minerals and vitamins in their food. Malamutes are prone to overeating or developing bloat from gulping down their food too quickly, so it's recommended to feed several smaller meals per day rather than one or two large portions. As for giving your pup a treat for a job well done, it is recommended that you follow the 10% rule. 
treat should make up no more than about 10% of your dog's daily calories. Speak with your veterinarian or breeder to plan a consistent diet and portion schedule based on your Malamute's age, weight, and activity level. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Alaskan Malamute. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these friendly, energetic dogs, do let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, like on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.